Welcome back to another episode. Today we are out in North Dakota for the second day of hunting. Today it is a windy, windy day. We got uh, gusts up around 30 miles an hour. We had a raft of divers out in front of the decoys this morning. John shot at a few that swam close enough and I think he got one or two of them. So I'm gonna stick it out this morning here and see what uh, see what flies by. We got like a dozen and a half decoys out there, a mixture of puddle ducks and a few diver decoys too. That raft uh, after John shot just got up and it's kind of out in the middle of the pond right now. So we'll see if uh, some other ducks here come in here and see how the day goes. Starting to get a good mixed bag of birds here. We've got a beautiful Drake Mallard down. We got some ringbills. We got a stud here. That one looks really good. And John even got a Drake wedging. So we're getting quite a few different uh, different birds down here. We got some hen ringbills too, and even the elusive spoonbills. So. I didn't shoot that one. <laughs> I didn't do it. We got a little bit of everything here today, so we'll see what else uh, ends up coming by. A few moments later. We got him, but that was a... Uh, Wing shot wounded him. Oh. He's out there. John's gonna go try and get him now. Thing might dive though. He'll be here. Gave him the finishing shot. He's he's down. Uh oh. Maybe not. There. Maybe not. Yeah. Did he get dead? Yeah, okay, he's done. He's that's down. Other one's belly up, feet kicking, so they're dead. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. That's the first time I've ever seen Nelly drop a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Nitori! I was watching you guys, Dick. That's our reward! Oh, God, that's a nice one. That is a nice one. It's <sighs> ah, a very nice one. 
boss bismuth fours, man. take a boat over here to another little pond up a creek see if we can't uh, jump some ducks John's back there doing some paddling and we got Nelly in the boat too we'll see if there's anything up there hanging out of the wind we are at the mouth of the creek that goes to another pond back here and with any luck there might be some teal or there's a muskrat there right now going across it We'll see what uh, what we get around the corner back here. Last Saturday when we were out here, we shot, uh, what was it, four uh, teal back there? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. Uh, Well, that was a pretty good hunt, huh, guys? Yeah. And if you are enjoying this North Dakota hunting series, click that like button. We got a couple more videos coming out yet on this series, and if you missed the first video, I will leave a link down in the description. But now, we're gonna do the cooking side of this. We're gonna take three of these ducks that we shot, and we're going to make orange duck in the Instapot with a gravy. So, the first thing that we're gonna do here is we're going to take a uh, one celery and we're just going to chop that up all right and then you're going to want one medium yellow onion and we'll just kind of cube this up a little bit and that's going to break down in the instapot so we're not going to get too crazy with it and then we're going to take the zest off of uh, one orange here. We're going to use a, a peeler for that. You just don't want to go too deep. But we want to be able to remove this later so we don't want to make fine zest. We just want this for the flavor. Okay, and then I'm going to cut this thing in half. And then we're going to use the juice out of it also. So I'm going to put that aside. Put these aside. Now, once you got all that cut, you're gonna come over to your Instapot here and you wanna put it on the uh, saute setting. So we'll go menu, and this one is nine. So we'll go to nine, and we're gonna hit start. So that will do the saute setting. We're gonna add the onion, the celery. Uh, we're gonna put some carrots in there too with some avocado oil. And we're gonna start cooking that, start uh, breaking that stuff down just a little bit. Then we're going to add the zest, Aww. the orange uh, juice. We'll let that go for a few minutes. We're going to add some uh, tomato paste in there too. And that's going to be our sauce. And then we're going to take this better than bullion roasted garlic base. We're going to add a tablespoon of that in there with a cup of water. And that's going to give us a nice gravy. All right, and we're going to take some of the avocado oil here. A couple tablespoons. We'll coat the bottom of that, get that heated up. I'm going to use some baby carrots here, a handful or so. I'm going to throw that in there. We're going to come over here and grab the onion that we uh, just chopped up. We'll throw that in there. We'll get our zest and our celery. Throw that in there. And we're just going to let that brown up a little bit before we do anything else. 
Okay, now that our uh, vegetables are over there seasoning, we're gonna take a combination of Harvest Blend seasoning, salt and pepper. I uh, did a teaspoon of this, a half a teaspoon of salt and pepper. And what I did was I just mixed it together and put it in another shaker. And we're gonna get our duck here. And we're gonna, we wanna pat this dry so the seasoning will stick to it a little bit better. Get a couple of pieces of towels here. We're going to pat these wild duck dry. We got a couple mallards here that we're going to try today in this recipe. All right, now that we got these guys patted dry, we'll take our seasoning and we're just going to season these duck. Smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go stir the vegetables. So these are cooking up nicely. All I want to do is just kind of get them started a little bit, a little brown, a little little tender, get those flavors starting to go. Well, looking pretty good. What we're going to do now is we're going to take the orange that we cut the zest off, and we're just going to squeeze all that juice in there. Okay. We're going to take one cup of water. We'll pour that in there. That's what you're doing. We're going to take the uh, Better Than Bo Bullion Roasted Garlic Base. We want a tablespoon, mm. excuse me, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon of this. We'll get that in there. And then we're going to take the tomato paste. This we want a tablespoon of. We'll get that in there. And we'll let this just kind of warm up again. We'll stir it all together and then it'll be ready to add the seasoned duck to here. And we're going to cook this for about 40 minutes. Um, it seems like a long time, but we're going to make that meat really, really tender. And then we're going to take the duck out. We're going to actually put the duck in a cast iron pan. I'm going to crisp the skin. We're going to actually blend together the sauce after we take out the uh, zest and everything and then that's going to be our sauce and we're going to pour it over the duck and this should be pretty good. And another trick I like to do uh, is take this orange and we're going to cut it in a couple smaller pieces. This is the same orange that we took the zest off of and squeeze the juice out of. And we're just going to take these pieces and we're going to stuff them into the duck cavity here and we'll let those cook with it. It'll give a little more flavor to the duck and then we'll take those out at the end. So now that our uh, broth here is starting to boil again, I'm going to give it a little stir and now I'm going to add about a tablespoon of parsley flakes. We'll put some parsley in there. And then we want to put a couple of bay leaves in there also. I'm going to do maybe three. And we'll give that one more stir here. I'm going to grab our duck with the oranges in there. And we're just going to lay that in here on top. Just like so. We're going to grab our lid. We'll put the lid on. And make sure our weight is down for a pressure cook. We are going to stop this. We're going to hit the menu. We're going to go to setting 5. We're going to time cook to 40 minutes and push start. All right, it's been 40 minutes. We're going to do a quick release on here. So we're gonna release our steam, crack it open. We're gonna take out the duck. I'm gonna put them into this uh, casserole here. I'm gonna take them over to the cast iron pan where we'll heat up some oil. We're gonna sear that skin. And then uh, we're gonna take our bay leaf out, the uh, lemon or orange zest, 
we're going to put uh, what's left into the uh, food processor here and we're going to puree all that up and make a nice sauce that we're going to pour over uh, our duck. So, alright, here we go. And there we are. We're going to take our duck out. Ooh, it's already falling apart. Put it over here. Smells fantastic. And we're left with the sauce here. And we're gonna pray that up into the food processor and we'll make our our sauce that we're gonna pour over these. So right now, let's go over to the stove, heat up some oil, and then we're gonna sear these uh, these skins. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna ladle all this out. I'm gonna put it in the food processor here. Those carrots and onions, the tomato, orange sauce. We'll fill this up to our max uh, liquid line. Put the top on. Always let that go. Good. I'm gonna grab a fork or a spoon here. Mmm, that's pretty good. No, be good. You wanna try some of that? Yeah. Here. Oh, that's good. That yeah, is really good. Okay. Well, let's finish browning our duck up. And we'll slice it up more and pour this over. It's going to be pretty good. Okay, now we're going to get this. Uh, we got the oil here all heated up, and we're going to take our duck here and then we're just going to sear it. All I want to do here is just really crisp up that skin. I'm going to use my tong, set it on one side for a little bit. I just want to. Crisp up all that skin from when it was in the uh, pressure cooker. It's going to be really soft and mushy. Crisping it is going to make the skin way better. And it's nothing better than a nice duck skin. you make orange duck in the Instapot. So now we got our duck here. I'm gonna slice a couple slices off here. We're gonna put the sauce on it and try it, right guys? Yeah. All right, so let's get in here. This is after we've uh, crisped it up in the uh, cast iron pan. I'm just gonna take some of this breast meat and cut that off. And then we're gonna slice it like this. Crossways. Even Let's baby fish. girl is <laughs> all excited. What's this, Dad? All right. I'm gonna do it like that. And then I'm gonna take some of the orange sauce, and we're just gonna drape it over like this. And look at that. That is some gourmet duck right there. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna go in for the bite. Mm. That is pretty good. Yeah, you want some too? <laughs> Not quite. Alright, James, you wanna try? There you go. Jackson? 
Mm. You want to try? What do you think? Dang. Good? What do you think? Mm. Good. Really good? It is pretty good. Misty, you want to try? Sure. Okay. There you go. Find your body. Mm. That is good. Mm. So what do you like better? Do you think the uh, a duck like this, or let's see, we've done kebabs or bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers. Jalapeno poppers. <laughs> <laughs> I like pops. What's that? Bombs. I like pops. Do you like the kebabs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, whole duck is really good, and the skin is really good. I like this probably the best. And then probably the jalapeno poppers and then the kebabs next, but <laughs> <laughs> is that good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it is pretty good. So if you like this video and you want to try this recipe out for yourself, I will leave all the ingredients and everything down in the description. And if you have a... Uh, recipe that you would like us to, to try next time you can comment down below and let us know but that is going to do it for us for this one if you like this video click that like button and if you haven't already click the subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell so you get all the notifications when we upload a video and as always remember to take a kid on an outdoors adventure